All right, hey guys, we're back with another YouTube tutorial, and I know it's been a while. I've been pretty busy, but I'm going to start uploading more and more tutorials as time goes on. And this one's a really cool transition tutorial. We're going to be going over how to create slide transitions in 3D space. So we're going to be working with cameras and null objects to get a really, really nice uh, sliding transition. And you can play with this however you want to get some really cool transitions. So we're going to start off and we're going to try to run through this relatively quickly. I'm going to drag in my footage. I'm going to go into transform and just really quickly fit it to comp. Just going to scale and resize that for me. And uh, once we have our clips and our footage set up, we're going to start off by creating our null and our camera. So I'm going to start off with the camera. I'm using the 35mm preset. I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to s create another layer, and this one is going to be a null object. And with our camera selected, we're going to go into parent and link, and we're going to drag this right onto our null. So make sure that's dragged on. Now our null has the ability to control the movement of all 3D layers. So that's very, very effective. We can change both of our layers to 3D, and I'm actually also going to change the null for three to a uh, 3D layer. And we're going to start with creating the sliding part of the transition. And this is relatively simple. We just need to position our scenes over. So I'm going to grab one of the clips, hit P for position, and just drag it across. And now this is where you can use your null to help you out. So hit P again for position. And uh, use this to pull this area right into the middle. And we actually... We're going to create a little bit more space. So the longer and the further apart you move apart, the further apart the two scenes are, the longer your transition is going to be and the more blur it's going to have. So we want it to be a relatively clean transition. Maybe this distance seems pretty good. And we're actually going to go into Motion Tile. We're going to drag and drop it into our top layer. We're going to select Mirror Edges. And we're going to play with our Output Width. So let's set this to maybe 125. And that's actually almost perfect. That gave us just about half on this layer. So I can copy this and now paste it into the other one. And this one will need a little bit of tweaking. We'll set it to maybe 135. It's okay if it overlaps a bit. And that looks pretty good. So we have those two set up. Uh, just for further use, I'm going to set the output height to 200. Uh, so I'd recommend doing that as well. Alright, so now we can actually start working with the transition. And all we have to do is reposition this. So we're going to drag this back to where it started. Alright, so this is our initial scene. And now we're going to set a keyframe for position. And we're going to go down... Uh, around one second seems pretty good for a transition, uh, maybe a bit past one second. And we're going to slide all the way down into our second scene, and we're going to stop this around here. Now, I'm not going to spend time in the graph editor. I'm trying to do this relatively fast, so let's just go into our keyframe assistant in Easy Ease. And you can see we have the basic slide transition, which looks like that. And it looks pretty good. Uh, a lot of people like to add motion blur. And you can add different types of blurs from your effects and presets, but you can also just use the built-in motion blur. So make sure you have it selected for your comp, and then select it for the layers Oops, that have that motion in them. So we get a little bit of blur and a nice little transition right here. Nice. And now is when we can have a lot of fun playing around with the different things in the null. So because this is the 3D layer, because we set it up like this, we have a whole bunch of different options uh, when we hit rotation. So uh, for instance, I can change the orientation. I can set it like this and have a transition with the orientation like that. We get a cool transition just like that. Uh, other ways to do it are just playing around with different types of rotations. You can play around and see how it will work. It, it's going to give you a bunch of different effects, and you can create really cool transitions with it. 
Uh, you can also combine different types. So for instance, let's say I wanted it to have multiple effects on it. I don't know, you can play around with it however you want and get some really cool transitions, uh, which is why people choose to do this in a null and with a camera. Again, if you really wanted to, uh, what you can do, I think I shut off the motion blur here, yeah. What you can do is you can actually set keyframes on your X, Y, uh, different types of rotation, and uh, you can go over here and you can alter how you want it to start and how you want it to end. So let's say we wanted to transition like this where it's going to actually change from one rotation, uh, X rotation to a different X rotation. And again, you might, you might have to, uh, again, you can see that it got cut off because of the motion tile. You might have to play around and adjust with those values to make sure you don't get any black spaces. And uh, always rem remember to easy ease your keyframes. And other than that, play around and have fun with these really cool slide transitions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, or concerns, please leave comments below. And thanks for watching.